Okay, I thought I would add to my YouTube channel um, my latest little project. Just a bit about the background of this. Um, this is a uh, Bankert tug, and it's a uh, an early billings kit uh, for this uh, Dutch boat, tugboat. And the story is, I uh, we spend most of the year in Australia, but during the summer months in Canada and the winter months in Australia, we uh, come to a little place in Vancouver Island called Victoria. And there's a pond here called Harrison uh, Pond, and the local model boat enthusiasts um, like to uh, oh, use it for all sorts of everything from submarines to sailboats to, uh, to tugs to speedboats. Um, you name it, and the uh, Model Boat Society seems to be into it here. So I uh, thought, oh, this would be, be fun to get into this, um, especially living in a condominium where space is limited and um, I can't do my normal big projects. So I discovered this uh, boat in a uh, local antique shop on uh, Fort Street in Victoria. And it was bought as part of a deceased estate, and uh, basically it was never completed, and the bits that were completed were pretty much damaged. So I bought this for the princely sum of $40, and uh, this will cover the uh, some of the uh, things I've done to this boat. Boat is is, a, is made in two pieces, so you have to virtually glue the super or the decking part of it onto the uh, onto the hull once uh, you get it all get it all decked out accordingly um, I'll just uh, do a quick walk around here and then I'll put this on a tripod and actually disassemble the boat so uh, that's about it so I'll just uh, switch over to a tripod here Okay, this is a little overview of um, how the superstructure can be removed. And uh, the motor is located pretty well midship. And uh, it has a battery eliminator module in there, which uh, this is using lithium ion batteries, 7.4 volts, so it's two S's. And um, this little connector here is use just to wire the lights and also the uh, lipo, the uh, battery warning light if, uh, if the battery should get uh, to a level that needs attention. Um, yeah, so a lot of this work was uh, basically just straightening out bits and pieces and fabricating some, some new parts. But it fits together very nicely. And then the rear section, two parts come off. This part comes off, which gives you access to the to the uh, lipo battery and uh, the switches. And also, there's a nine volt battery in here and a little bilge pump. Uh, it's auto sensing, so if uh, water should get into the hall, it will actually turn on and pump out this little outlet here. And the rear here has a little hatch, which. Um, allows you to get at the uh, twin rudders uh, for adjustment and whatnot. That's uh, basically the construction. I'll just move the camera a bit closer here and show you inside the uh, in, in the hall. Okay, this rear opening allows you to get at the rudder adjustments. Uh, and inside we have a little rubber band holding the lipo in place. We have uh, couple switches. One uh, is for the bilge pump. The other is a calibrate mode which uh, you can use for the speed controller which allows you to set the um, maximum minimum throttle positions uh, depending on the controller you're using. The uh, bilge pump is that little motor that you can see just on the uh, on the top right and you can see the little flexible drive shaft coupling down below that's the original one that came with it. It uh, was fractured, but it um, it could be repaired just with a bit of thread and um, super strength epoxy. Now, I'll just make you a bit seasick here and 
lift off this infrastructure. Okay, so in here we have the original motor. Now this motor actually has a gearbox uh, located in the back, which you can't see. It's suitable for a number of projects. It has a forward reverse uh, switch on the front there as well. Um, it, um, the gearbox, uh, you just need to use the, uh, the fastest speed you can get from this to, uh, to power the, the tug. And uh, the rest is basically just ballast and weight. Um, that's a little homemade connector just with some uh, little Arduino connectors, 0.1 spacing. Okay, the rear of the boat, it's, uh, as I said before, it's got twin rudders. And uh, I'm using a 45 mil four blade at fairly flat prop uh, on this, which it's really designed for uh, for maximum torque rather than speed. Um, moves the tug quite nicely. I'll record a video of this um, in the uh, in Harrison Pond uh, on its uh, maiden run and you can get an idea of the bow wave and uh, the speed that, that this uh, actually runs at. As I mentioned earlier the hull and the uh, upper portion of this uh, kit are, uh, are basically split in half so you have to join the two uh, after you finished all the uh, internal bits on this boat. Now the way I did it was uh, there's a bit of a lip uh, when you cut it out so I've used uh, a fairly good quality automotive um, double-sided uh, molding tape and uh, cut just a thin maybe about an eighth of an inch uh, strip of that put it around the, uh, the lip on one half and uh, sandwiched it together and then I've used a uh, rubber bit of rubber profile, um, just a U-shaped stuff, um, to finish it off so you don't actually see the seam. And uh, it's put, uh, made a drilled a couple little holes in the back and just used a couple little brass pins to uh, hold the uh, the rubber section so it can be removed if necessary to uh, get into the hole. So it should, it's better, I think it's better than actually using a more permanent uh, silicon sealer or uh, PVC uh, cement to, uh, to permanently put the hull together and make it very difficult to split should you need to. Now, like all good projects, these things tend to mushroom. So uh, I was visiting a cousin in uh, Penticton in Canada uh, several weeks ago and uh, we were talking about you know what we were doing in Victoria this summer and uh, her partner Sterling promptly went into his workshop and uh, pulled out this boat which was given to him um, and it was it was certainly salvageable and uh, it was built as a static model but anyway it's the uh, second boat here now in my fleet and it's, uh, it's about 70% 70 70 completed at this stage. Um, but it's a uh, Chris Craft uh, 1940 barrel hull. And I have all the upholstery, which is currently, I had to all remove that to fit in the, the motor and everything. So um, it's a um, um, beautiful, uh, it's a cross. Uh, double planked um, wooden structure and uh, you can sort of see um, if I can get in here some of the uh, the internal structure uh, it's hard to get it get that picture but it's um, going to run a, a 7.2 volt system again uh, that's the lipo for it there, and the motor is a 27T with some fan cooling on it. Again, a more modern controller, and uh, the servo for the rudder. Uh, yeah, so I'll um, include a clip or another section once this is uh, is underway. So anyway, back to the tug, and I'll include uh, the next little clip will be a. Uh, clip of the tug actually in its uh, first sea trials. Cheers.